This is a long-term review of the Bug Assault version 2.0. As you can see from my Amazon receipt, I purchased my Bug Assault over three years ago from Amazon. During the last three years, I would use my Bug Assault very heavy in the summertime because we'd have a lot of problems with flies. However, I did not allow kids to use the Bug Assault. I kept it put away where only I would be able to use it to avoid any kind of unnecessary abuse. Also, I only use fine grain salt. As you notice, a lot of times people will be putting in kosher salt, which is a lot more coarse than fine grain. I found that the bug salt works much better if you use fine grain salt. It also avoids clogging, and I think it also prevents damage to the internal parts of the machine by having too large of crystals. After three years of heavy summer use, you can see the caulking mechanism and everything still works really well. I've noticed no problems at all with the bug assault. At first, I was very leery about this, noticing the entire unit was made of plastic. However, the plastic seems to be very high grade and high quality plastic. It's lasted the course of three years and still the caulking mechanism, the trigger, the safety, everything still works almost like the day I purchased it. I can't tell very much difference at all, other than it's a little bit scratched up and dirty from normal wear and tear. In this firing demonstration, you'll see it's winter time now, so I'm gonna to have to use a dog food and a grape. We're gonna go ahead and test the bug assault after three and a half years. You'll notice as I shoot it, it sounds the same. I don't notice any loss of power at all. In order to demonstrate, I'm gonna also do this test by using a grape and a paper towel. The paper towel I use is not just a Kleenex, it's actually a thick paper towel, more like the kind you'd find at an auto parts when you're checking your oil, so it would take a lot to get through it. First up is the grape. Notice the grape is hit by the salt particles. The salt particles actually penetrate and embed the skin of the grape. If this were an actual fly, it would actually be much easier to penetrate than the grape would be. The next test is this thick paper towel. Notice from a distance of about 12 to 16 inches, it easily tears a hole right through the paper towel. As I previously said, I was a little leery about paying $50 at the time for the version 2.0 bug assault, noticing it was all plastic. But after three years of use, this thing still works like it did on day one. I'm really impressed with the bug assault and the company that makes the bug assault. I will be purchasing another one if this one ever goes out. I figure for three years of use at $50, you can't really beat that. It's quite a bargain. Plus, whenever guests come over, they're really amazed by it. They've never seen it before, and it's a great talking point. A couple of things I'll end with here. One of the things I found really handy, if you want a holster, is to use a, nap is to use a napkin rack. Notice this napkin rack right here. I pulled the napkins out of it, and it makes an excellent holster for the bug assault. However, my wife was not too happy about me doing this to our napkin rack. And one last suggestion. When the gun is not in use, I don't leave it cocked and loaded ready to go. I always make sure I discharge it. I'm not sure of the internal mechanisms, but if it's spring-based, I like to unload it. That way there's not constant tension on the spring. Again, this is a product I'd give a five-star rating to. It's lasted for all these years, and it works great. If you're interested in this product, I have a link below. Thank you so much. Hope you subscribe. Have a great day.